Justin Trot at one mile, a purse of $15,800. Exact uh, trifecta wagering, a field of nine. No changes. Number one is Backlash Hanover, owned and trained by Brent Davis of Zanesville, Ohio. Greg Grismore at the lines. Number two is Pine Hill Jewel, owned by Joy Slaughter of the big city of Newark, Ohio, trained by Richard Slaughter with Ryan Holton. The three is Seaworthy, owned and trained by Titus Schleybaugh, Sugar Creek, Ohio, Aaron Merriman. The four is Brummel of New Jersey, Ader and Richards, Montgomery of Ohio, Sizzling Man, trained by Dan Ader, Cow Ader. The five, Chaperone, owned by Walls Brothers, Stable of Ohio, and Suda and Suda of Illinois. The Strollen Stable as well, of Ohio, trained by James Ferguson, Bob Harper. For the six, Sauté T, owned by Wellman, Milhone. Other Delaware, Ohio, and Todd of Florida, trained by Terry Milhone, Dallas Miller. Number seven is Striking Ray, owned by Hall of Famer Robert Sidley of Painesville, Ohio, trained and driven by Marty Woolham. Of the eight, Rose Corsage, owned by Daryl Sherman, Elmore, Ohio, trained by Kent Sherman, Brett Miller. Enter the outside of the nine, Otto Kratt, owned by the Charter Oak Stable of Aiken, South Carolina, trained by Jimmy Laurent with Chip Noble in the sulky. That's the field for the sixth race, the final of the Dick Buxton exact. Swings into the back stretch, and there they go for the final of the Dick Buxton trot. Field in motion. Bing, sent on their way. They're all fan trotting, break the four sizzling man. Out from the inside, and there goes Pine Hill Jewel driving right alongside there. That is Seaworthy. Up on the outside, three deep to join the fray. That is Rose Corsage. Away and forth from the rail there. Backlash Hanover is sliding through to be three now. Fifth on the inside after the duck and tuck and forth by Rose Corsage. Fifth there along the inside of the chaperone. A gap at two and six. Striking Ray followed in seventh there by Sate T. Eighth is Autocrat and ninth and trailing after the early miscue. Sizzling Man of the opening quarter came and went in 28 and two fifths and driving onto the frontier. That's Seaworthy and Aaron Merriman on the point here. Pine Hill Jewel to the garden spot is racing in two. On the inside, Backlash Hanover's Relegated to sitting in third, sent first over the rim, racing in fourth, Rose Corsage. Flushing that cover, second over the outside in fifth, Chaperone, third over in sixth, Otto Kratt. Seventh along the rail, striking Ray, eighth, that is Sauté T, and ninth in trailing Sizzling Man. Stepping around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. Leading up top here, Seaworthy through a half and 59 and two fifths. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and Rose Corsage is wearing down Seaworthy here and Rose Corsage is on to the front. Seaworthy is right there, trotting in two. Locked in is Pine Hill Jewel now. Outside of there and fourth, that is Chaperone, who is gaining ground with every stride. Outside, racing in fifth, that is Backlash. Hanover sixth to the outside of there. Autocrat seventh is Striking Ray. Eighth is Sauté T and ninth and trailing Sizzling Man. Three quarters was up and one twenty-seven and three fifths. They'll trot the final turn and head for home. And Rose Corsage with the lead here by a widening four and a half, five lengths to the top of Heartbreak Lane. Less than an eighth of how to trot and they're on their way home driving through power alley up top rose corsage with the lead here and she's out there with it by four and a half five lengths and she's looking for more as she draws within the final 16th pine hill jewel goes off stride but this is rose corsage a well in hand finishing second looked as though the five a chaperone photo for show the time of the mile 158 flat rose corsage back to winning ways to take the final, the Dick Buxton trot. Dick Buxton for three year olds and up, timed at 158 flat, a purse of $15,800. Here's the eight, Rose Corsage, posting the sixth win in 2004. A four year old Bay Mare by striking Sabra of a carry the message mare, carry the Rose, owned by Daryl Sherman of Elmore, Ohio, trained by Kent Sherman, nicely handled here this afternoon by the leading dash winning driver at all in North America on Saturday Downs, leading driver, Brett Miller. Please note, racing, of it, racing fans, that the uh, stewards have removed the inquiry sign. Uh, the inquiry sign has been withdrawn. 853 still does remain unofficial, though. $92.40. Well, the 853 tries worth $441 even. 